Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ajano. Welcome to episode five of Network Chat Programming. So today we're gonna to talk about actually making a window for our client, okay? So what we've got right now is a login window and that's all great and we've actually made a way to pass um, information into our client, right? So our name, address and port so that our client can then connect to a server as well as give ourselves a name and that's all cool. Um, but now we're going to actually talk about making that window where people can, you know, chat and receive messages and all that stuff, um, as well as actually connect to a server. So let's um, let's get right into that. But first, what I want to do is actually fix a little, a little problem here. Um, in episode two, we wrote a UI manager thing. That thing's kind of disappeared, and it never got committed to GitHub because of a vast array of issues. Um, so I just want to uh, set the look and feel to UI manager dot get system look and feel class name all right and you might remember we did do this in episode two so if you followed the videos this would have been sort of been done but unfortunately it didn't carry across through the commits okay so we'll just change this to exception like we did in episode two uh this just basically makes it look like your system's native window so just makes it look native um and I did explain that in more detail in episode two, so check that out if you haven't. Um, but anyway, so let's create that new window now. So to make a new window, right, right now if I just go to design and wait for it to pass as usual. Um, yep, you'll see our little window here, and if I actually debug or run the application, you can see that we've got all this stuff here where we can enter and when we hit login the idea is obviously to hide this like we do right now and uh, more or less um, actually open that window right and what one thing we should probably do is also handle if the ports are blank if, if the fields are blank for example but we'll do that later okay so let's make a new window so right click onto our channel chat um, folder here in the, in the navigator or in the package explorer uh, hit new and hit other and then go down here to jframe so this is under window builder swing designer and then jframe hit next Let's call it uh, client, and let's hit finish. All right, so this is all our code. First thing you should probably realize is, let's get rid of these Java docs, Java doc comments. Um, first thing you should probably realize is we don't need a main method, right? Because we're not launching this as a separate application. We're just opening this window based on our main application, which is our login.java, okay? So we can just get rid of this completely. But before we do, you might you might notice that frame.set visible true is actually set over here. So let's quickly move that into here so that we can actually see our frame. And then let's get rid of this entirely. <clears throat> and I'll just add a default uh, version ID. And I think that's it. That's pretty much it, okay? So if we hit the design button, you'll see this window now. Uh, we'll probably resize it uh, to, let's see. Um, maybe around <clears throat> 800 wide. Yeah, let's set it to about, um, if you go over here, by the way, uh, if you click on this, if you go over here, there is a, um, a size, or is there? I can't see it. Am I being stupid? No, what? As if there's no size here. Okay, I can't see that here. Anyway, let's go back to the source code. Let's get rid of the set bounds like we did last time. Um, and, uh, let's probably just set the, uh, location relative to null to center it and let's set the size to be um, probably about 800 by 480 or so I don't know we'll see what that looks like I think that's pretty good though um, might be a bit too wide might set it to around 750 or something 750 I don't know okay so now we've got this this is all this is all really good now okay um, we've got a new window that we can actually open. So over here into login.java, all I want to add is instead of printing this stuff, I basically want to make a new client, right? And into that client, I actually want to feed in the name, the address, and the port, okay? So over here in client, let's make a few things. Let's make uh, some more fields. So we'll make two strings called name and address, and we'll make an integer called port right and we'll put string name string address and in port into here and then the first thing that we'll do is set this dot name equal to name this dot uh, address equal to address 
and this dot port equal to port. Okay. So what we're doing here is obviously setting all of our parameters here equal to our global variables so that they can be accessed throughout our entire client class. Um, one thing I like to do as well is probably make a uh, create window method here um, and just copy all of this code or cut all of this code into here just so that our constructor looks a bit cleaner and obviously actually run the create window method here. Create window. Okay. As you can see, that kind of just clears everything up. Um, and more or less what we'll do is actually use these things to connect. So we'll have to make, we'll have, obviously have to write a bunch of network code to get it to connect to our server, um, which we haven't made the server yet. So that could be interesting. But anyway, the point is what should happen now is we dispose of this window, we make a new window, which is our client window and everything is cool. So let's test that out really quickly. Um, let's just pop in like, I don't know, yarn localhost. 8192, whatever. Hit login. And as you can see, our whole window disappears and our new window pops up. It's probably a bit too small, actually. I'm not sure. Let's make it a bit bigger. But yeah, you can see that basically that works. So may I might make it 800, maybe about 550 or something. I don't know. Um, and two more things I want to do here quickly are set the title to something cool. So let's set it to Cherno Chat Client just so that appears there, you can see. And let's also add a layout to it. Now we're gonna talk about layouts more in depth next time, so I'm probably not gonna do that right now, but we will be using a grid bag layout, which is right over here. And that's just basically to ensure that we can resize our window and all the components move along with that. So we're gonna talk about layouts and the grid bag layout next time in episode six, and in episode seven, we'll probably start on the actual sockets and sending data to a server, but yeah. So if we launch our thing right now, I'm just going to type in a number into here so it doesn't crash. Hit login, and as you can see, turn and check on. This is, I hate that size. Okay, let's, we're making this bigger. We're changing this. 850. Um, okay, that's probably almost good, 880. <laughs> okay, that's, I like that, okay. Um, so yeah, so what you can see that's happening here is we can yeah, we can enter a bunch of information into these things, a number into here, hit login, and uh, our old window our old window disappears, our login window, and a Cherno chat client window appears, which is going to be our actual chat client. Okay, so that is how that works, and um, hope you enjoyed this episode of Network Chat Programming, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new episode. Later, guys.